Okay, moving on from that, we have some good news for myself anyway, because I still haven't been. Imagine all of these fucking days, all of these Sundays, and I still haven't been. So Fold have announced that they're going to put on another Unfold party happening on the 14th of April. Um, Unfold is the party that Fold does on a Sunday. It's it's become like the, the 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 place to be if you're like in the London techno nightlife scene. It's to go fold on a Sunday and they do a good little rave because essentially they get to pack in more hours because essentially it runs from 12 to 12. So it literally 12 hours of raving, which is quite sick. Um, and obviously, you know, it's a Sunday and shit. Take the Monday off or sometimes if it's a bank holiday, you can have a, you can have a really late one. But regardless, it's like a new way of raving in London because for the most part, our clubs in London closed really early even fold it was kind of billed as like a 24-hour club but i'm assuming because of licensing laws and local councils and shit even that got like knocked on the head and it seems like they just have like a, a you know they have a 24-hour license maybe four times a year that they kind of you know divvy out to probably some promoters or maybe keep for themselves to their own in-house parties regardless they don't really much wiggle room in that regard they do a good job already to open at six because and I, I think Fold might be one of like five clubs in London, maybe five nightclubs that you'd want to go to anyway, not the other ones. The other ones you probably wouldn't want to go to. Like, I don't know, there's like an O'Neill's or something and you probably open until five. But this club is only one of the only clubs in London open till six. Opens at 11, closes at six on on like, you know, weekdays and shit. I mean, Thursday to, sun, to Saturday. And on the Sunday, it's got Unfold happening on 12 to 12. The great thing about Unfold is that there's no lineups announced. So it's all kind of hush hush. If you go, you'll find out who's playing. And I think part of the reason was to do it was so they could get like good guests to play. Because if you know anything about booking and promoting and whatnot, right? Essentially, I think it works in any kind of field. Um, some artists get kind of locked. So if you're playing a certain venue, you're not allowed to play other venues within the same city, within a certain time frame. So they kind of lock you in for that one. So a good way to get around it is just to book somebody, but not put them on the lineup and kind of do like cash in hand, under the table type of thing. So I think that's what Unfold will have done. Unfold have basically done that attitude. It's like, hey, we're not going to put your name on there. We're not going to blast it out. We're just going to say it's Unfold. Come and play for us. Da -da -da. So that means that they have some sick guests. So I think the last one, actually, there's one that happened last weekend that I actually missed out on. There's a picture here. You can see some of the guests that play. This is, I think, this is some of the people that played, or maybe the guests there. And on the next page, you'll see some of the guests that played. Look at that. You got Philip Apasho. Um, you got Imogen playing, big DJs. Um, you got Sarah Wild, Wes Bagley's pretty, I say it's pretty big DJ. Um, and a few other there. So, like, they kind of get some big names that play on a Sunday. So, it's a quite decent affair. So, um, I still haven't been. I don't know why um maybe because i just don't you know it's a sunday in london going at 12 to 12 feels a little bit mad and i don't know i have a feeling that it's going to be full of like cat heads and shit even though i could be a cat head when i want to i feel like it's going to be full of like sweaty people sweaty cat heads who have not been home since saturday staying out until sunday it's not the kind of vibe i want i mean it's not it's not probably as sophisticated and, s and sexy as i'd want it to be but i probably still need to go just to kind of see what the vibe is like because that's also a place that i'd like to play at do you know what i mean that kind of venue the kind of unfold type of vibe it's probably a great way to kind of get in there and kind of play on that sound system see how it feels that'd be pretty sick but um it should be flipping amazing i'm assuming because of the people already commenting most likely they're going to be playing i'm most likely i jordan and fucking um tekra are going to be playing there or tikra have you pronounced the, the name i think i've mentioned tikra i'm probably going to be playing so that probably makes more sense but i'll check it out and see what happens but yeah unfolds happening in, what you call it, april 14th at fold um, check it out if you're in london check out if you're in london talking about dj gigs i've been emailing some places and i've realized you know what yeah i don't think <laughs> i don't think it makes any sense to send anybody a mix i think i'd, I'd be better off focusing on what i'm doing on the stream uploading my sound clouds doing my live stream dj mixes and kind of leaving that there and hoping that those videos kind of spread organically and people see me through that and want to book me because sending people emails or dms to play at places i'm not gonna lie it does do a, it does do a little bit of a number on your ego it does do a bit of a number on your comments. And I'm somebody, I, I, I pride myself on being supremely confident, supremely self-assured, supremely just like, you know, there. And even I can get knocked down when I see like read or seen and like, oh. Or you send an email and it's like, it's been four weeks and no one's even opened it. You're like, Jesus Christ. Or, you know, no, DM is obviously what it is. But I think emails are even worse because emails, you don't even get a notification they read it. 
right? Unless you're a freak that has like red receipts on your email, like a fucking tracker. But most people, when you send an email out, when you send an email out, when you send the email out, there's nothing. There's no reply. So I'm out here sending emails about gigs and shit. And it's like, no reply. I'm sending DMs about fucking playing at certain places. You're getting left on fucking uh, scene. And it's like, God damn, man. The scene is fucking cutthroat. But again, I don't take it personally. Because at the end of the day, it's mostly about what you can do for them. And if they're seeing me, small time guy, don't get many plays. The views aren't what they should be. Not as high as it could be. I understand. So it's basically a matter of like, get your clout up. Get your fucking visibility up. Get your fame up. Become Just become more. At the end of the day, the lesson to be learned from all types of content, just be more famous. That's it. Become more popular. It doesn't really matter how good you are or anything. Just become more. Which is, which is weird because I think it's actually harder to become more popular than it is to be good at what you do. To actually, give a, to actually get people to give a fuck about you and not the hundreds and thousands and millions of people out there doing the same thing you're doing is actually way harder than just becoming good at what you do. Personally. Because just becoming good at what you do doesn't require anybody else's input. It just requires you to be at home practicing on your craft. Whatever that craft is, right? Just you sitting at home just practicing. But to be good, to be like popular, you need to engage. You need to like do stuff. You know? You need to like engage with the, like there's, there's, a, there's like a to and fro it's all over the place so i'm kind of realizing in real time like raw boy like okay i'm a real small fry out here i'm a real insignificant minor character in this game even though i think i'm the main character obviously that's why i'll be fucking doing this podcast and shit and talking into a microphone sitting into an empty room and shit right but i'm not the main character what a surprise i am not that important what a surprise. What a shock. What a fucking kick to the nuts of the fucking ego. I sat there thinking, wow, I just sent you a DM, you know, not a long one. I don't, I'm not writing 500 words, but I put together a decent e DM, right? I, I kind of tried to chill out with the emojis. I sent a little link, little clips and shit, and no reply, nothing. God damn. Okay, cool. Even though, you know, I rate my skills as best as anybody out there. I gotta get my clout up, I gotta get my fame up, and that's kind of the way to go. But damn, bro, I'd realize, because again, I hadn't, I hadn't done it in a while. I was kind of off that, and I thought, let me just do my own thing. But then, you know, you kind of get tempted to be like, yo, no, let me hustle, let me ask. But to be honest, anyway, if I'm thinking about it, and this is a weird thing to say out loud, I honestly think I haven't received, I don't know about you guys, but I don't think I've received anything in my life from us. I really don't think so. Even jobs and shit. You just get them through your own hard work and just circumstances, momentum, luck. But you don't really get anything from saying, hey, can you give me, can I have, you don't really get anything from that. You get more from like you doing something, somebody being, oh, all right, sick, I like that, I could use that. You know what I mean, like even when you apply for jobs, you have to apply for, like, you know, like you don't really like, oh, give, you don't really get, it's like the, the job has to be open, there has to be a vacancy, you have to apply at a certain time, you have to meet the criteria, blah, 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 blah. But I can't really think of anything I've gotten in my life where I've kind of asked. And again, I'm not an asker anyway, so I don't, I don't really have my hands out. So it's always a bit difficult and weird for me to even type up those emails. I always feel really awkward, you know what I mean? But damn, man, damn. Damn, damn, damn. It's honestly, it's bruising. I'm not going to lie. It's fucking bruising. It's actually bruising. It left on scene like, okay, cool, man. I can't unsend that. You already seen it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that's what happens. So like, what can you do? What can you do? What can you do? You keep on going. You keep on striving. You move forward. You don't pay attention to those things. And you just keep on going. Anyways, um, big up. Case of Moses, chill as he, you do the exact same thing when your fans message you, it's quite normal. Nah, 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 that's not the same, bro, that's not the same, that's not the same, and you have to be real, that's not the same. I understand, I'm not the best at replying to DMs and stuff, because I'm not really, like, you know, the whole the Instagram thing is a bit annoying, and I want to be, like, doing things, you know what I mean? Um, But nah, man, come on, that's not the same, it's not the same, not the same at all, not the same at all. Um, I would imagine if you're asking me for something, I'm going to be on it and, and reply to you for something. But if it's just like chatty, you know, it doesn't really matter when I reply, to be honest. That's, that's the whole beauty of sending a, a message. You can reply any time. But if I'm asking for, you know, a bring in, hey, I'd love to play at this. You know, that's a different sort of like 
dynamic when it comes to those type of info, you know, emails and DMs. It could be a stern like, hey, we're good. We're good for now. Well, we're going to pass on that. You don't really fit our vibe. No problem. But at least you've got an acknowledgement. At least you know where you stand. No, not, not seeing like, I'd much rather, honestly, I'd much rather you not open my message than just leave me on scene. <laughs> that means you read it and you thought, no point in replying. He <laughs> just backed out. It's like, God damn. But I also think it's also wasted energy. You know, I, I definitely think it's wasted energy. Wasting your time trying to figure out what the right message, all that stuff is wasted because at the end of the day, if you've got enough clout, all that message don't gonna matter. They're gonna just send you one line. Hey, do you wanna play? Hey, we've seen your stuff. Do you wanna come down? Like, you know, it's not it's not really worth it, like trying to send emails and being like, nah, 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 nah. So yeah, I'm off it. But um I had to do it to kind of, you know, prove that I could and to not be a you know, to not be a fanny and shit and to kind of, you know, embrace all the stuff going on. But yeah, I'm not on it anymore. I'm not on it. <laughs>